Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your ears. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And this is... Jimmy it's... Cage. And Dennis the Body Meister. Yes. Uh, yes. This is our first, I believe, collab... Uh, in, uh, not interview. Um, review. Movie review. That we've, I believe, ever done uh, on, our, on our channel. Jimmy is uh, one of our favorite... Uh, and, and Dennis are one of our favorite reviewers of Indian uh, cinema. Um, if you'd like to check them out, go check them out. I'll put their link in the description below. They're criminally under uh, subscribed. Um, and you guys are just a review channel, right? Yes, we are doing just reviews, yes. Excellent. Always thinking about maybe doing some trailer reactions for some new releases, but so far we haven't done any. Yeah. Absolutely. You do a lot of reviews every week. How many films do you guys do each week? Uh, I'm normally doing like three reviews, and Dennis yeah, is there is, uh, is for, for one review. I, he I, joins I, I only do one. I just don't have the time for more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah at absolutely. least at the, at the moment. At least at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we usually try to do about two reviews a week. So thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, this is ongoing of our classic month. The entire month of February, we've been watching classics. And this is actually our patrons Hindi choice for um, their, they, they get to choose a movie from a Hindi and a, any regional film every single month, any tier for us. And so this was the Hindi choice of the month, the 19, what is it? 1986. 68. Uh, no, 68. 68. What? <laughs> IMDb says six, did I say 69? No, you said 86. 86. But Oh, my dyslexia is happening. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, 1968 uh, cult comedy classic Podosin, which was actually recommended to us by the uh, Ustaji Zakir Hussain almost a year and a half back. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is obviously going to be a spoiler review, uh, especially for older films. It's just how we like to do it. If you haven't seen it, it's on Amazon. So go check it out. The synopsis is a simple man from a village falls in love with his new neighbor. He enlists the help of his musical theater friends to woo the lovely girl next door away from her music teacher. That's, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> that's, that's essentially exactly what happens. Directed by Rick. Can you say that name for me? Uh, yeah, I can if I'm oh. just looking at it. Do you guys know directly. who the director is? Jyoti Svarup. I don't like that. There you go. Me. Thank you. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> Starring uh, Sunil Dutt. Uh, and a whole bunch of other people that I can't pronounce, including Kishore Kumar and Om Pakash. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I don't, I'm not good at saying names. So normally I ask Rick his initial thoughts, but you are the guest. So uh, Jimmy right. and Dennis, please tell me your initial thoughts of the film. But anyway, sir, you can go first. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I liked it. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I, I liked it. It's not the best comedy I've ever seen, but yeah. <laughs> I liked it. And I was quite surprised how much I liked it because with comedies, it's, yeah. it's always a bit difficult to understand them, to get them if you don't understand the language. Yeah. Especially if it's a comedy that's going for the linguistic puns and yeah. all those right. things with the language and you just can't follow it. But I think with this one, um, it's it's so over the top. It's so much so um, so much. It's, it's it's not slapstick, but it's well, it's it's a bit of slapstick. But it's so much mimic and so much gestures and movements and yeah. screaming all the time. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. It's 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 quite it's it's quite entertaining. It's uh -huh. maybe a bit too long. I think with 100, 150 minutes. It's yeah. A little bit too long and i think it's repeating itself in the second half especially mm -hmm. the, the jokes are repeating but in general i think it's a it's a very good movie i liked it mm. yeah i had a i had a blast with it i have to be honest i think this is the the third uh, classic comedy we've seen from india we have seen chupke chupke and golmal okay and i think this was the one um, I think maybe Chupke Chupke maybe the better movie for me, but when it comes to uh, laughing my ass off, I have to say that this is the, <laughs> the clear winner. There were scenes in this movie where I was really, 
I think uh, woke up the neighbors late at night and uh, I had a, had a great time with it. That's I think awesome. that the first half is a lot better than the second because the second half kind of goes into more dramatic territory yeah. and it gets a little bit more serious and that's not working that well for me mm-hmm. in this in this context. But overall, um, I was super surprised by, by Sunil Dutt and uh, we've only seen him in uh, Mother, Mother India. India yes. So this was only oh, okay. our second uh, exposure to, to Sunil Dutt and uh, yeah, he totally won me over. He reminded me a little bit of, of Jim Carrey and not just, not just because <laughs> of the crazy haircut that was like a kind of dumb and dumber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, overall I had, a, I had a great time with it. Rick? I loved it. Gotcha. I I yeah. I, th- I thought you might. <laughs> yeah, I I loved it. I um I thought it was uh, every bit as ridiculous and characterized and over the top as any of Shakespeare's best comedies. It reminded me so much of Shakespeare's comedies, where it's characterization and it's just doing stuff for laughs. You're making fun of people. You're doing things linguistically that I agree. There's probably yeah. a there's, a, there's stuff we got, but there's a bunch of stuff bunch we sure didn't, we didn't, get, didn't yeah. get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, I just absolutely loved it. And I was on the phone with Indrani afterwards, getting my dinner, and said I could go home and watch this again right now. I had a great time with it. Yeah, I, I actually surprisingly really enjoyed this film. Um, <laughs> at the first, I think twenty minutes got me really concerned because I, I hadn't laughed once. And it was it was very dramatic at, it, at first. You know, they came in and they were very over the top. And I was like, okay, this is obviously the kind of film we're going into. Um, but I hadn't laughed yet. And then basically, when Kish, um, what's sorry, I don't want to mispronounce his name, Kish, Kishor Kumar, Kishar Kumar, and his buddies basically started to come in. And the scene that I freaking lost it at, and my wife, was the tree scene. <laughs> I was just I I I I literally laughed out loud multiple times during that scene. It was it was the old school uh, duck soup, um, the the Three Stooges style of comedy when that started getting going, and I really really enjoyed that. After that, I do agree. There, the, I actually wished it was a lot more of that stupidity comedy in there than them going into the love story of 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 them towards the end. I, I absolutely totally agree. I, I think it could have easily been um, even funnier if they would have just gone for the 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 over the top dramatic like the whole even though it's culturally it doesn't make it's it's awful and it doesn't make any sense where they were like, yeah, slap her. <laughs> and then the entire scene he goes around with his hand up and there was like the the, <laughs> the pink panther music behind him the entire time. I, I was like, this is hilarious. I mean, it's awful, but it's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I especially enjoyed, um, uh, I did enjoy Sunil Dutt, but I, I enjoyed his, his uh, collaboration with uh, Kishore Kumar uh, immensely during this film. Yeah, both of them are fantastic. With the whole slap thing, I was a little bit afraid at first because I also thought, oh, this could go horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. But then but then he is such an innocent character and he's so charming and he doesn't want to slap her and he doesn't want to do it. And it was it was played so nicely and then it was totally fine. But for a second, I yeah. thought, oh, my God, this, this movie is old and hopefully <laughs> it won't go to that place. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think why the why the, the comedy works so well, especially in the first half, and is why this this stupidity works so well is because we have this this they create this world that is so it's not a real world yeah. in, 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 in at the beginning at, at least. Maybe yeah. then later when they try to be a little more a bit more serious, it becomes more real and therefore yeah. it, it, it drops off a little bit. It, it, yes, yes, exactly. But in the first half nothing is real they can do everything everything is allowed everything is okay and everything is over the top and especially the thing with the trees and <laughs> i'm the whole the whole the whole lip sync scene the very famous scene is is i mean yeah that's yeah. probably my, my favorite moment the the two lip syncing scenes in the apartment first yeah. when he's uh, when when the girl is alone and just falls in love with his singing and then when we have this this singing battle with the, yes. with, the uh, with the dance instructor, yep. and that's that's such a great scene. And I think this whole setup with the two apartments across each other is such a great setup for a comedy. Yeah. And it has a very 
there's something very theatrical about it because yeah. it's like this this stage and it's framed in a way this this whole window is in in the center of yeah. and you have they are putting up a show for the girl and early on he says he's just enjoying the show when she's coming out of the bathroom and singing and <laughs> It's it's like a, a little bit like like rear window. It's like this yeah. this uh, voyeuristic aspect, <laughs> yes. and uh, I yeah. totally totally loved all of that. Yeah, and the whole yeah, the I, whole playback singer seduction aspect is such a great thing I think for a movie. And also there's this this meta aspect because uh, because of this playback singing, it only works in a movie because in real life you would instantly recognize okay he's yeah. opening his mouth, but that's not his voice. But yeah. in a movie. It works and it it goes back. It links back to the production of a movie because there's this playback aspect, and I enjoyed all of that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I agree. I loved the singing battle scene. I love the culminating ridiculousness at the end when he yeah. kills himself yeah. and all four of the buddies go to the window and each of them in turn go like this. Oh, he's done the whole no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I. I really want to know. I, I want to know if Amir Khan got inspired for his character PK from Kishore Kumar's mm. character in this. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it reminded absolutely. me so yep. much. Not not just the the beetle pawn chewing either. There was so many things facially and character wise. I wonder if Amir Khan used that as like a character study in his creation of PK. Yeah. Yeah. Might, and yeah. I'm glad I'm glad they brought the uh the stupidity back at the end with that full scene oh. the, the of, yes. of him dying and every single person yes. coming in, nobody questioning him just coming back to yeah. life. I I'm, I'm <laughs> glad they ended on a note like that as opposed to where it was right before that was a little more serious uh and then the yeah. the, the 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 other master I think crying on uh, at the outside of the oh, yeah. the wedding. Yeah, it's the last shot. I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. glad they ended on the stupidity stupidity um because i think that that kind of just encapsulated the entire film um and i really and i think obviously if we were native indians or hindi speakers uh that obviously there would be a lot more we'd be able to laugh at i'm sure there was like dialect comedy that or in and word comedy that we just didn't pick up on not being native speakers but i obviously the songs which uh were there was i think 20 of them it felt like uh, songs, but they, they <laughs> Not all, as many, but yeah, they, they fit so well and they were so enjoyable. Uh, and Rick, you know where we've heard, um, we've heard him actually quite a few, few times, but you know where we heard him first, I think, uh, Kishore Kumar. I don't remember where we heard him first. Sholay. He's the singer in Sholay. Oh, well, yeah, I do know his history is much more profound as a singer than it was as an actor. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I looked it up. Yeah. Uh, he has like over 1,000 credits on IMDb as a playback singer. Mm -hmm. And he died mm -hmm. fairly young, age 58, yeah, I think, and something. still yeah. over 1,000 credits as a playback singer. And uh, I think, honestly, he completely steals the show in the movie, not, not just his singing, yeah, he... but his facial expressions, his body language. There's this one song that was um, actually um, improvised, I yeah. think, because the, the the choreographer didn't show up, and then mm -hmm. Kishore Kumar just said, "Hey, I'm doing something. Just follow me." Yeah. And now it's actually regarded yeah. as yeah. one of the funniest Indian mu music videos. And yeah, he's he's fantastic. I also read on IMDb in the trivia that um, the the Memut, the producer and also the actor who played Master G. And Zuni that were afraid that uh, Kishore Kumar is kind of stealing, stealing the thunder, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they cut some scenes. Yeah, they, 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 cut, they, they initially yeah. cut some scenes down to the version that we now. Oh, that that's now awful! See. <laughs> but it, but it, but it didn't work anyway because he, he still. Yeah, he still saw the show. Steals the show. Yeah, yeah. 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 He was the character, the most beloved character. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And at the end, I, I was thinking at the end was, when Bola is lying dead. On his uh -huh. bed, I was thinking, what's what's the what's the plan here? How how is how is he going to get out of this one? And it's uh, but it's it's also I also thought nobody knows that it's only a fake suicide. The beyond yep. and uh, everybody's so sad. It's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. And nobody questions it's it when he comes back everybody. to live. Yeah. Either. Oh, no. Um, no, no, no. It's, it's the power it makes, of makes all the sense in the world. The uh, <laughs> the issue uh, I had was. I, obviously, a lot of the actors, you weren't really, you're not really going to judge them. My, but my least favorite was probably the girl. Uh, I, I wasn't a, I, I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of her comedy style, I guess. 
uh, would, would be the whole thing. <laughs> um, but that's, that's one of the only, because obviously you're not going to judge this film very harshly in terms of people's acting, the, the, the writing, because it's all supposed to be very over the top and, and very dumb, essentially. But she was one mm -hmm. of my only gripes. I just wish they kind of had a, a stronger actress for that. In any, any outside of the obvious stuff, any downsides uh, to this film outside of the length? Uh, I actually liked her a lot, but I didn't. Um, I think her character was super underwritten. I mean, it goes a little bit with with the territory with this mm -hmm. kind of movie. But there, there were there was this scene where she's uh, having a test at school, yeah. and uh, that goes wrong. And then her family's like, uh, she always fails, and it's better that she doesn't <laughs> study. And Get that was married, a little bit yeah. like that's not aging that well. And, uh, <laughs> I wonder why it's even in the movie, except that it may be. Uh, increases the tension that she's getting yeah. married but it was like a little bit antiquated i think that, her what sorry no i was gonna <laughs> I say think... that that scene he was just talking about where the wind was just blowing on her desk <laughs> 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 sorry go on i just i love that <laughs> i think her i think her best scene is the one is her first um and not the the song on the bike but her second song when she dances in her when she comes out of the bathtub and then she dances in her room because yeah. she has this she, she moves she moves so strangely and it's it's, uh -huh. it's really funny and i think in the, the most times he's she's only reacting to the things that other people do mm -hmm. and not so much the one who gets the gets the gets the comedy out there from 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 her character i think so yeah um in compared to compared to uh Sunil Dutt's character who is all over the place <laughs> and yeah. all the other guys of course too yeah 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 i i i I loved her. I loved everybody in it. Gotcha. There wasn't a thing about it that I that I disliked. I particularly the standout, and I think this is universal for the past fifty years, is uh, Kishor Kumar, and he yeah. actually he he reminded me, and the film reminded me also. I don't know. Have you guys seen Mel Brooks's first film, The Producers? Yeah. Yes. This reminded me quite a bit of the same kind of ridiculousness of The Producers, and he reminded me a lot of Zero Mostel, and that is a very high compliment in terms of just mm. ridiculous over the top comedy uh and yeah i this is for me i i really i also think it can't be understated or i mean overstated that the difficulty of pulling this off yeah because comedy is always just relegated to oh that's got to be so easy because it's you know it's just funny i really do equate this and in my heart like I have two Shakespearean films for me now. Now, obviously, Header was based on Shakespeare's Hamlet, and it's an actual interpretation of the text. This, to me, was as good as any of Shakespeare's comedies. It had the exact same ridiculousness. And I've read that a lot of people don't think this movie could have been made today because of political correctness and mm. being woke, because there's a lot of insults going on that yeah. people today mm. would get bent out of shape about. Well, some of the stuff, was, yeah. <laughs> That there was yeah. one moment where where the girl says something like y your parents can go to hell and <laughs> surprised to read that in the subtitles yeah well and it seems like everybody's fair games in this they're yeah. they're insulting the rajputs they're insulting uh the, the everybody it seems yeah which i loved <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely so well i'm glad we all liked it that's uh that's that's yeah, that's, that's, that's very fun um because you know, we <laughs> yeah. It's it's we we had just dropped a review that we didn't enjoy uh, for, for for a film and and those aren't as fun to do as films that 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 you enjoy talking about and you, you just enjoy watching, uh, especially classics that people it's ingrained it like if somebody had watched yeah. um, like Singing in the Rain and then gave it a bad review, it's yeah. it's it'd be like one of those things. But I'm I'm glad we all liked it, especially for our first collab uh, review. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So did y'all? Did you guys do a, a review on your channel of this? Uh, no, we, we just recorded an intro sequence. Gotcha. So we will post an intro sequence and then uh, link to to this uh, to your video. Uh, I just want to add two more things. Uh, cool. One thing that I also very much liked um, is the, the, the framing. I think the compositions mm. were quite interesting because you have those this, this group of five friends with uh, Sunil Dutt in, in, the, in the center. And there were so many shots in this movie where all the all the friends were in the same shot and it was yes. always full and it 
it was just very interesting and dynamic and because a lot of it it's it's an old movie it's rather slow paced and yeah. it's not super artful when it comes to uh, to the compositions but because of the colors and the staging there was an element i just it was yeah. it was quite fun and the other thing i wanted to mention is that um this is actually a remake um, of a 1952 Bengali movie, Pasha Bari. Oh, really? So I think we should notice this because otherwise people will eat us up in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, maybe. they will. <laughs> Bengali, <laughs> the original, Bengali, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. And I, I looked at, I looked up the movie because it's on YouTube, but in absolutely horrendous quality. Yeah. I just skipped through the movie to see if it's uh, super close. And there are some things in the original that are here as well. Yeah. Like there's this cut to the donkey when uh, <laughs> Sunil Dutt's character. <laughs> that was a hilarious moment. I love that moment. That was, yeah. <laughs> that, that was the moment where I was fully on board with the movie. I laughed so much. And yeah, there, there, are, there are some similarities. For example, the slap is in there, the beating, the suicide at the end. Yeah. But overall, I mean, I just skipped through the movie. But overall, I think the tone of the Hindi remake is much more is much sillier and unapologetically yeah funny and, and silly I, I think it's i think it's nice that this movie has this element of uh, this this um element of people screaming of people talking of people who can't sing all, all this that goes goes from the talking and it also has, has those scenes like you corbin you said like it's it's like a bit of the marx brothers and yeah. it's a bit uh, stooges it, yeah. it also has so many scenes that are um, are um, looking like they could be from the silent era. If you just take the if you just take the dialogue away, all the umbrella, the umbrella scene when they when he yes. walks behind her with the umbrella, maybe make it black and white. It's a, <laughs> it's a scene it's a scene from a, from a silent movie. It's it's and that's yes. that's perfect because we have we have these both those both levels. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Jimmy, to, to piggyback on the technical things you were talking about, like with the framing of everybody, which was always perfect. Nobody was ever blocked. I loved, you know, they had to do a couple of exteriors, like when he gets beat up, uh, they're out by the fountain. But for the most part, I loved not just the setting with the two apartments, but that we were constantly seeing the cycle of the sky with the clouds that never move so that you're constantly reminded, this is a farce. This isn't mm -hmm. real. This yeah. is... Uh, ridiculous and I yeah, thought yeah. I just I thought everything about the technical aspect of the art direction and production design was perfectly complimentary yeah absolutely absolutely I would actually love to see more uh, acting from uh, I know he can sing obviously and he's a beautiful singer but uh, more acting from Kishore Kumar um, and, and I, I don't know how many things like this he did but uh, I I, I, I fell in love with him in this film. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Uh, well, and I read I read that um, Sunil Dutt, that a lot of fans at first were not pleased because this was so outside the box of what yeah. they knew him to be type-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't like to see the guy that was typically the hero uh, playing a buffoon, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I, I, <laughs> but he's clearly beloved now for this role. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, let us know uh, what you, well, I, I'm assuming all of you have seen this film. Let us know what you think about this <laughs> film uh, down below. Let us know what's the next classic we should watch. And uh, go subscribe to uh, Jimmy Cage's channel. I will once again link it in the description below. Jimmy, uh, Dennis, you want to say anything? Um, thank you for having us. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It was thank, a lot of fun. Thank you very and much, yeah. It's great that we all loved the movie, or it, yeah. at least liked it a lot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, cool. it was great. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks.